Hey YouTube, uh, Cameron from Cameron's Fish Tanks, giving you part four of my saltwater nano reef tank build. Um, so it's about a month old now, and uh, my cycle ended about two weeks ago, so it was a pretty fast cycle. Um, so about a week ago, I picked up a uh, Ocelaris clownfish. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. His name is Minnie because he's so small. He's like the size of a nickel. Very small. But uh, I'm feeding him some New Life Spectrum. Can't really see that. Some New Life Spectrum Marine Formula. It's a pretty small pellet. Um, I've also been feeding him a very small amount of just some flake food in there. Um, so, yeah, the system's going pretty good. I got my uh, alkalinity down. It was at a uh, a 20 DK8, which is crazy. But now I have it at a nice solid 9, so that's pretty good. My calcium is at a 430, um, magnesium 1300. And, uh, yeah, so this system is pretty much balanced now. Um, the way I solved my uh, alkalinity problem was using some reef crystal salt. Um, it's for high magnesium, calcium. Uh, it's free of nitrates and phosphates. Uh, I've seen lots of people use reef crystals and they have pretty good systems. So, uh, yeah, um, this guy, his name is Minnie. Ostler's clownfish, as I said. Um, he was only 10 bucks at my local fish store. Because they said uh, he's kind of aggressive, which he is. But, uh, yeah, actually, let me show you guys this. Uh, where is it? There we go. I was uh, scraping the glass the other day, and he just went crazy at this thing. He hates it. He'll follow it around the tank. He hates this thing. But, uh, yeah, he's pretty funny. Um, I have some hair algae now, which is not good because I've heard terrible stories of how people had to battle their hair algae and how sometimes it took almost six months for people to battle them. Um, so I'm going to go over to my local fish store tomorrow, um, pick up an emerald crab and two turbo snails to hopefully take that out, um, it's pretty dense, guys, there was a big piece up there, ooh, my lights just turned off, but, uh, there was a pretty big piece up there, um, but I removed all that, so that's kind of why it's kind of blurry a little bit, um, but yeah, my, uh, what's his name, blue leg hermit crab's getting really big, He's been eating a lot. My Carillion Nano is getting a good flow. You can probably see it on the uh, green hair algae. Um, so maybe in about a week, I will get some um, some whammon. I don't know how to say this. Whammons watermelon zoanthids. I think is how you pronounce them, or just regular watermelon zoanthids. Um, I'm going to pick up some of those. Um, I might also pick up a frog spawn. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. I also uh, use some epoxy to get these rocks to form a permanent arch. And I think I might keep this rock now. Because um, you can see a little pathway right there. Um, but, yeah, the tank is looking good. My clownfish is very happy. My nitrates are at 5 parts per million right now. And my phosphates are at 0 because hair algae is probably absorbing it. But, um, yeah, guys, so part 5 will be my last part for this uh, series. So, um, make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.